Hello everybody, this is Barn the Thing, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we caught Mesprit, and in today's episode, we need to head to Professor Ryan's lab. <clears throat> Hi Barley, may I see your Pokedex? Oh my gosh, you've seen every kind of Pokemon in Sinnoh. Hey, let's go show your Pokedex, Professor Rowan. Okay, so let's head into the... Damn it, let's get into the lab. And we can go talk to Professor Rowan. Ah, oh, Barley, you've come to show me your, po your progress on the Pokedex. Hmm... So you've seen 210 Pokemon. Excellent work, Barley. The Pokemon of the Sinnoh region are being added to your Pokedex. This will certainly help with my studies of Pokemon evolution. Oh, Jesus. Greetings, Professor Rowan. It's been a very long time. I'll tell you, Sinnoh certainly is a long trip from Kanto. Of course, if it means meeting new Pokemon, there's no distance too great for the likes of us to travel. Oh, if it isn't my old colleague, Professor Oak. I should have expected as much from the world's authority on Pokemon. We always used to joke, where there were Pokemon, you'll find Oak. It's good to see that it hasn't changed one bit. Professor Oak, let me introduce you to my young assistant. This youngster has filled every page of the Sinnoh Pokedex for me. Ah, oh, well, very glad to meet you. As you heard, my name is Oak. I've been hearing a great deal about you from Professor Rowan lately. He's been exuberant in praise about a fantastic young trainer. I see that you live up to, no, that you have surpassed his praise. You've also got an impeccable sense of timing. You see, I have an errand to run for Professor Rowan on my visit here. He asked me to bring the data for the National Pokedex, you see. So since you're here, let me upgrade your Pokedex with the National Mode. After all, there are many kinds of Pokemon in this world of ours. Okay, so our Pokedex is now upgraded to the National Mode. I'm afraid it won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex, however I'm sure you'll make an honest effort attempt on our behalf. Have no fear, Barley will get the job done. By the way, Professor Oak, what compelled you to visit this region? Oh yes, I've heard that the Power Park is now open. If I remember correctly, it's at the end of Route 221. The Power Park is a special system that attracts every imaginable kind of Pokemon from every region. I've come to make certain that sy that system is operating properly. Barley, you should make an effort to visit the Power Park too. Oops, I'll be late for my meeting if I don't get going. Okay, it was a pleasure seeing the both of you. Bye now. Off he goes, as busy as ever. Now, Barley, I have a gift here as, your, as a reward for completing the Sinnoh Pokedex. So, yeah, he gives us the Poker Radar. That, that's the Pokemon Radar, or just Poker Radar for short. Use it and it'll indicate grass patches where a Pokemon are lurking. I prepared that. I. Ooh. I prepared that to help my field assistants put together the poke Sinnoh Pokedex, but you took care of that. I'm sure it will be useful for your goal of finishing the National Pokedex. So yeah, the Poker Radar, it will indicate uh, little grassy areas that will make the grass shake. And that's where you can usually find like rare Pokemon, and that sort of thing. Okay, so uh, let's... Oh, she gone. So yeah, now we have the National Pokedex, we can uh, fly over to the fight area. Which is right here. Okay, so yeah, in today's episode, we're going to be heading over to the next area, which is the uh, survival area. But this guy here, he'll give us an ultra, oh, super rod. So yeah, the super rod is the uh, it's the final rod that you have, and it'll make you, it'll basically give you some rare Pokemon you find instead of just Magikarp. So then off with the survival area, and then Stark Mountain. The road there is too tough for me to travel, though. Okay, whatever. But yeah, we're going to be heading over to Stark Mountain in the next couple of episodes. So yeah, this is the route going over there. But yeah, you can find some poke in these routes. You can find Pokemon that aren't native, to, aren't native to Sinnoh. So that's pretty cool. You can find things like Raticate, Rattata, and Machoke apparently. Well, not necessarily in this route, but I know definitely in some of the routes you can find Bayonet. And there's a Razor Fang right there, which uh, evolves Gligar into Glyscore. Okay, so far we haven't seen any Pokemon that aren't from Sinnoh yet. Oh, bloody hell. There we go. Oh, no, Raticate. No, Raticate's not from Sinnoh. But yeah, there's a Raticate there. But yeah, I haven't got any repels with me, so we're just going to be heading through here. I'm pretty sure you can also find Zigzagoon. Oh, no, it's this girl who has a Zigzagoon, isn't it? One of these girls has a Zigzagoon, I remember this. Okay. Oh, Linoon. So this, these people have Talo and Linoon. So I'm going to go for a uh, thingy. Sludge Bomb on Talo and Flamethrower on Linoon. Didn't quite kill it. Well, Pidgeotto. Let's go for Sludge Bomb on Pidgeotto and you can go for another Flamethrower on Linoon. Okay, Linoon went for Rest, I think that was. Let's just go for that again. And then take down that Linoon. And then she's gonna. S oh, well. Let's go for another Sludge Bomb. Go for another Flamethrower. Okay, that was it. That was quite cool. We saw some Pokemon we have never seen before. 
Okay, so he has a slow poke, so I'm going to shadow ball that. And he also has a slow bro. And we're now level 55. What do you want to learn? Nightmare. Bloody hell's nightmare. Sleeping foe is shown a nightmare that inflicts some damage every turn. That could be helpful, but we haven't got... Uh, no, we're going to get rid of that. We haven't got anything that will put him to sleep anyway, so... Okay. So we can't go any further this way. But yeah, there are a lot of raised platforms here, as you can see. So a lot of places that we can have a little look around. So heading up here takes us nowhere. Okay, another wild grass, another raticate. Yeah, I'm going to start skipping the grass patches now. Okay. Yeah, I thought there might be a hidden item there. Big mushroom right there. So if you want a big mushroom, there it is. Is there another one there? No, I don't think there would be. But yeah, we're just exploring this route today. It's quite an interesting route, I have to say. Okay, so this guy's a Pokemon Ranger. Uh, let's go for Drain Punch. Well, that didn't do anything. I'm probably going to get to get rid of Drain Punch or something. Oh, why did I use that? That was really stupid of me. Oh, well. Let's go for Plaz, and we'll go for Thunderbolt. Okay, Donphan. Let's go for Nero. And then you're sitting in a Golduck. Let's go for Rock Clan. But yeah, I got rid of uh, Avalanche on uh, Nero. And uh, I gave it... Oh, bloody hell, come on. There we go. And we'll finish it off with Flash Cannon. Oh, didn't need to. Okay. Oh, we're getting 20... Oh, yeah, this is my uh, first video of 2013, isn't it? Completely forgot about that. That's awesome. So, yeah, welcome to 2013, I suppose. 2013 on my channel. Not sure what 2013 is going to hold, but I can tell you there will be a new Let's Plays, obviously, because I'm near the end of this Let's Play, and I'm getting towards the end of uh, Black and White. Okay, Vibrava, we don't have a Dragon type. Oh, I've still got Blades with me. Might as well just send that Blades to fight. Let's go for Razor Wind. Razor Wind? Razor Wind is what I'm meant to do. Got to get many out of the PC, that was pretty stupid of me. Oh well. Okay. So down here, I think this is a rest house. Oh no, he just gives us a fresh water. I thought he might heal us. Obviously not. Oh well. Okay, there's nothing down there, but I don't have a cut or anything. I suppose I could teach the blades, but I don't really want to. Okay, I need to try and get that Pokeball. Okay, let's carry on round here. Oh, I know what it is. Actually, I don't really, but I will. I have to leave it for now. Okay, so if we head up here. We find this guy. Okay, pincer. Let's go for fly. Let's just finish it off with air slash, I suppose. Okay, Lantern, that's a uh, thingy in steel type, we don't actually, a uh, thingy in electric, water and electric, we don't really have it, we don't have a grass type on that team, so we can't really use, oh wow, that didn't do anything, blimey, right, let's go for Plaz, I suppose, we ain't got much choice, but you probably have Volt Absorbed, don't you, so for Ominous Wind then, Well, I need to heal, but I think, okay, I can go that way, I have to go through the ground. Come on, come on, come on, make it, yes. There's probably a hidden item there, but we don't run into any more trainers, because we have, like, two Pokemon left. Okay, so there's a green shard right there, if you want one of them. I th oh, yeah, the survival area is right down there, so we're alright, we're nearly there now. The survival area is just down that e entrance there. No, there's no hit item there. Oh, for that, oh, bloody hell, I thought that was Cynthia then. I just saw that the, uh, what do you call it, the pathway, I thought it was Cynthia for some reason. Oh, shit. That's not good. Let's go for Slash, I suppose. Oh, wow. Blimey.
Oh, thank God. Oh, choppier snow. Oh, crap. Tropius. I'll just shadow ball it again. Okay, so that's her done. Can't go down there. But here we are. So here we are in the survival area. Trainers who lose the Battle Frontier come here to train. Well, I lost the Battle Frontier many times. I didn't come here. So that's a lie. Hey, travelling trainer, is your bag full of items or is it full of dreams? That looks like a meteorite. Can I get down here? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. What about you then? I'm taking the Frontier Challenges to score some commemorative points. I'm a cameraman, obviously. Have you seen that TV program, Search for the Red Gyarados? Yeah, that outstanding documentary. I filmed that. Blow your own bloody trumpet, mate. Blimey. There's a move that doubles in power. If the Pokemon using it is poisoned, paralysed or burnt. Oh, that's facade. Yeah, give me facade. TM42. That, that number follows me everywhere. That could be a good uh, item to use, actually. Facade could actually come quite... It could become quite handy, actually. Okay, so if we come in here... Door is shut tight, members only. Is okay, we can't get in there yet. Okay. So, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel. I've been Barlow Thing, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.